What's going on ladies and gentlemen? I'm back again with yet another video. I'm super excited for these for this particular video because this is a video of a shoe that I've been wanting for a solid minute. Um, not just this exact colorway, but this shoe in general has always been one of my favorite shoes. I got them, I got one of them for retail way back when I sold it and I've been regretting it ever since. So this shoe definitely holds some sentimental value. These are the kind of videos that I watch a lot because I really actually like the shoe and it's not a new shoe. So it's a shoe that I did go back and buy like on goat use. So I definitely like it a lot if I'm willing to do that in general. Um, so I think you guys are really gonna like this pair. You guys might be surprised that I sort of this because it's not like, a conventional thing that people usually go back and buy for whatever reason. I never really see people getting these, but I do see other colorways being grabbed a lot. And this overall is probably one of the most famous and popular shoes of the era, honestly. This shoe, in my opinion, changed the game. That's my opinion. Call me a hype beast, call me whatever you want. Um, and I don't think I wrote the, the name of the shoe in the title. So you guys might not even know what it is yet. I'm going to look at the box real quick. And judging by the box, you can already probably tell what these are. Um, so we got the Nike box right here. Looks like we got the drawn on swoosh. We got holes that are covered by plastic where you can see inside the box. We got green hands all along the top lid of the box, which is really, really cool as well. Not exactly sure what that signifies. Then we got this little subheader of a description of the shoe almost. It does say Nike Sportswear and then the location of this shoe's creation. And with that location and overall with this box, you guys probably already know what it is, but with the location, you can be sure that these are an off-white. Whenever it says Beaverton, Oregon on the shoe, even though that is Nike headquarters, so it could technically be any Nike, but whenever it says it like that with the text in Helvetica, you know what it is. These are from GOAT. If you guys don't trust GOAT, that's on you, but look at the size tag if you want to authenticate. If you do trust GOAT and you want to check your personal pair, I'm actually not going to show the other side yet because I want to keep the lot number of surprise on these. It also says fall and then like the year that these were made. So these did come out in 2021. So they are a pretty old shoe. They have held up well though. Whoever owned these prior to me did take good care of them. Um, and the yellow paper um, is definitely a signature of all the off-white dunks. They all came with this yellow paper which does say off-white circa 1985 on the wrapping paper and yeah so i know that the, the wrapping paper is something that a lot of the fakes definitely mess up on the shoe so i that i figured i'd give you a full analysis of the box and everything in the box just so that you guys can maybe legit check it for yourself or if you're just curious overall because the box of all flights is always super super cool and especially this one in particular i don't think that they ever 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 did a box like these because these are super like um different than any other off-white they kind of stand on their own i know i've kept you in suspense for so long these are the off-white dunk lot fours in the flesh and here we have them so these came out pretty much right when Virgil died. So that was not planned, obviously. No one knew that he was struggling with cancer on the back end. That is very, very sad. And he died well before his time. I wish that that could have not happened. But unfortunately, it was clipped at this point. And just because of that detail alone, the off-white lot dunks are one of the more special off-whites. The concept of them is really cool. 50 different lot numbers were released and um, they were all released in one go. Different regions had higher likelihood of hitting on different number of lots. And it was a pretty complicated release because people really struggled to uh, hit them. And also they didn't really know what shoe they were getting. So unless you knew how to read style codes and 
like do uh, prior research, you basically got surprised by the lot number that you got. So I wish I would have hit these. Unfortunately, I did not, which is kind of weird because I usually have pretty good luck on Nike and these were pretty easy to get. Um, overall, compared to the other offlets, these were probably the easiest. But uh, the easiest that were actually hyped, that is, because a lot of the off that came out after these were complete garbage. But um, that's neither here nor there. I did hit the pine greens on these, the OG pine greens. For those of you guys who don't know, there were three OG colorways, the pine greens, the Michigans, and the UNLV reds. I'm going to put a picture of all three because there definitely is pictures of all three. They are a collection. And I hit on the pine greens. I sold them. And since then, I've had a personal pair of all three of them. But that was so long ago that I barely even remember owning this shoe. That was like back in 2020. Feels like forever ago. So we finally got him back in him. Let's go over the details on the shoe. The upper is pretty much comprised of a gray dunk upper. It almost looks like the gray fog dunks, um, which is kind of interesting some people might not like that because it's very simple upper but the other details kind of make up for it so this one is lot four so we got a black tongue an orange nike i believe yeah orange nike turquoise teal green laces which obviously can be switched to whichever ones you want and the main selling point i think on this lot number is the black off-white tag I think that's just really cool. i never seen a black off-white tag. So basically the tongue matches with the tag and then the rest of the details are pretty random. So you got a couple of variables. You got this back piece, which we did get a yellow on this one, which doesn't match at all. Um, but sometimes the lot numbers don't have matching, like hang tags right here. Or like, I don't even know what to call that, but these are yellow and the little indicator for these being lot four is like a pinkish purple. So the side profile of the shoe is a bit weird because these two details don't match with the rest. But from the front, I think the black tongue with the teal on the laces do go very well together. And that's one of the reasons why I picked this lot number. On the medial side, we got the Beaverton Oregon text that you usually get. Underneath the surface of the swoosh, it is slightly covered by the swoosh, which is super cool. I actually never noticed this before. Um, fall, there is like a style code for the shoe of when it came out. I never noticed that before. This is also why I love doing these videos, because I can actually see the shoe up close. Because I never really end up looking at the shoe in such depth like I am right now just because of me holding them like this. But yeah, on the inside, we do have, I don't even know what that is. You guys can be the judge. Um, and then on this one, we got a hand. Let me get a get better grip on this one. We got a hand right on the right pair. But besides that, the right and left pairs are the exact same. Um, just got the green, the gray, and the black tongue. Same exact deal on both except the right one doesn't have the off-white tag on it. What I usually end up doing is I usually end up taking the tag off just because when I'm driving, it gets in the way. But on this particular pair, I feel like I always say this, but on this pair, it does appear like the tag matches pretty well, but I'll probably end up taking it off, even though it looks pretty cool. Uh, it does say lot four on the tag as well. So that is something to keep in mind. Um, other than that, every 10 consecutive lot dunks do rotate in materials. So the first 10 are all leather, the second 10 are all suede, and it keeps going like that till the end. So there's three sets of leather ones and two sets of suede ones. These are a leather one. I prefer leather, but people like the suede a lot. Um, so basically this white part is canvas and the gray is leather. Now, in terms of materials go, these are really soft. Like that is one interesting thing about these. The leather really does give when you touch it. 
Um, but this white canvas does look like something that will get pretty banged up over time because the dirt will go underneath the actual canvas and not be all that easy to clean. So that is one downside. The bottom, the outsole is just an all gray outsole, which is pretty, pretty cool as well. And uh, yeah, there isn't too much to say about the actual shoe. I feel like the story and the box are almost the main attraction in a way, but it's a cool shoe. And these are one of those shoes as well that look way better on feet. So once you see them on feet, you guys are gonna fall in love with them. That's exactly what happened to me. I don't really like the way they look that much when I'm just holding them like this, because they're not like a very um, pretty shoe because the colors don't really match. But on feet, especially with some dark pants, oh, they hit different. But on the tongue, I also forgot to mention, there is a hole. People might not like that as well, but that is a cool detail in my opinion. Uh, comfort wise, I think these are very comfortable actually because the leather is really good. I feel like this is a great angle to be able to tell how good this leather is. Um, and yeah, it's a clean, clean shoe, man. One of my favorite of the off lights. I wish I had those pine greens, but these are a good substitute. too. I got these for $300, $325 after shipping and tax, which is low-key a steal because these go for like 500 new and they usually go for around 400 used in this condition. So pretty good price there. I'm going to leave you guys with an on feet. Let me know what you think of these in the comments down below. As always, take care and I'll see you all later. Peace.